Hey guys, welcome back to Shotgun Nation. Thank you so much for coming back down to the channel. Today we've got the VRBP 112 gauge shotgun here. This is being brought in from Turkey by Rock Island Armory Imports. Check out that. It's got a lot of nice aesthetics, it's got a lot of nice features. We're going to be talking about all these features in just a second, but for now, let's shoot it a little bit. Alright man, lots of fun. So let's talk about some of its features. Uh, it's got a full set of chokes that come with it. It's got a cylinder, modified, and a full choke. Um, it's got a set of polymer flip-up sights. You can see they go down and up as you need. The rear also has a larger and smaller peep sight. Um, you could just flip that down if you wanted just a bead sight um, and use that front sight post as that. Um, but there's a lot of rail space on there in case you wanted to add a red dot or a scope, some other type of optic, whatever you find necessary. There's also a side rail here, so you can add a flashlight or a, uh, a big long knife or something, whatever you want to do. Um, it does have an ambidextrous safety switch here. As you can see on both sides, the side is marked. Uh, the right side is not marked. It does also have ambidextrous magazine release button here on this side. And on the other side, you'll find it down here. Also, you'll see right here, it has a bolt release and also a bolt hold open switch all in one right here much like the AR-15s um, and the charging handle on it I wanted to point out is non-reciprocating so that means it doesn't move while you're firing uh, it will stay stationary it only moves when you pull it back to charge the bolt itself uh, let's see what other features does it have on here uh, in case you were to put a optic on this it does have a cheek riser available you can just loosen this nut and raise it up and lower it down wherever you need it to be and also it comes with some spacers here so you can shorten or lengthen the length of pull uh, for this bullpup so that's pretty nice also it does come with two five round magazines they also have larger capacity on the market but it does have a three inch chamber so you can put those big loads in there or you can keep it all the way down to two and three quarter inch whatever you would like to use it's also got a couple of quick disconnect points uh, here on the rear and also here in the front if you're running that type of equipment and some of you probably saw this switch earlier and you're wondering what it is this is part of the uh, disassembly uh, we'll show you that here in just a few moments also. wanted to come in here and show you guys the trigger reset. So we are going to drop the bolt forward. So here's the trigger pull and the reset. Ooh, very short. So not, not real bad, actually. You know, for a shotgun, I've, I've played with some pretty hefty, clunky, nasty triggers. And this, this one really isn't that bad. That reset being super short too, that's real nice. All right, so just a real quick disassembly of the firearm. So you're gonna unload it, you're gonna make sure that the bolt is locked to the rear and that it's completely empty. Um, you're gonna take your disassembly switch right here, flip it down, and then at the top, you've got this uh, retaining nut. You're gonna use the tool that's involved and loosen that sucker up. Take those guys out, don't lose those parts because you're gonna need them. <clears throat> the next piece is gonna be to slide the entire uh, forearm forward. Uh, you're going to want to watch out for your safety switch here. You might have to lift it up just a little bit to get it around that. But just nice and easy, it goes forward. And then, like I mentioned, lift up just over the safety switch. Next, you're going to remove the retaining nut here. So you can access inside the receiver from the front right there. You can take out the additional screw and the other pins. Uh, we'll take off the little clamps, the retaining clamps off of those. And you can open this up further, but realistically, all the dirty parts, that's going to be access to all of that. And the reassembly is just the same thing, but opposite. Once you work your way backwards and get it all put back together, do a quick function check. Make sure everything works the way it's supposed to. Safety's on. Doesn't fire. On fire. Fires. Reset trigger. Still works. Back on safe. And we're good to go. Well guys, there it is, VRBP100 from uh, Rock Island Armory Imports. Definitely a nice platform, shoots really well, uh, especially with the five round magazines that it comes with. I'm sure the 10 rounders work great. Unfortunately, I don't have one here on hand to test out with it. All right, so uh, pros and cons here. Uh, basically all the pros are all the features that I mentioned before. There is not a thing on here that I would leave off um, and there's not really much that I would add to it, I don't think. Um, the only con that I would say is the fact that the 
safety switch is not marked on this right hand side like it is there on the left hand side both with color and character um, but honestly that's about the only thing that I would say that is a con on this platform uh, it's been a been a lot of fun to shoot um, it functions like it's supposed to again thanks for watching shotgun nation make sure you subscribe comment uh, turn on your notifications whatever you have to do to stay tuned because we do have a lot more content coming up and i appreciate all the support um, my wife thinks i'm just kind of a loony bird out here in the woods by myself uh, but she doesn't understand i have all you people with me so anyway again thank you so much um, and stay tuned for more shotguns